All right, what's going on guys? So we did a bit of a poll on Insta a while ago about showing people how to set up the half awning. It's a great little trick that took us, I think six months of being on the road before we found out about it. Uh, and I was surprised how many people don't know about it. So we'll do a little video, run you through how to set it up and pack it up. Uh, it's quite easy and it's as strong as your awning will be in the wind. So it's been perfect. We've had it out in some pretty good blows and um, there's been no drama. So we'll run you through how to set it up now. So standard as normal when you're pulling your awning out, you know, on the Dometic we've got the little side arms that keep, uh, undo the knobs on the back, walk to the other end, do it again. So the same on this end, undo them, and then uh, I always use the pole because I'm short to flick it to roll down. And you hook onto your little thingy. Come. Pull the awning the whole way out. Or as far as you need to, to be able to slide the sides. How have I caught that? I don't know. <laughs> slide your side arms all the way up until they lock into place. Uh, but don't tension your knobs on the arms or anything. Same on the other end until it locks in place. I always just chuck the awning hook in there once I'm done, so it's there and easy if I need it. Uh, and then a bit of tension on your lead or your lanyard, and then set it to roll back in. And then let your awning go back in until it hits. That's it there. And then all I do, wrap that around my side again, Take them back in and now set your height so you've got clearance on your door. So pop it up. Pop it up. And that's it. So you just uh, make sure you've got clearance on the door, which is good. And that's it. That's as strong as your awning's ever going to get. You can still use your awning mounted clothesline, uh, it gets it away from the door. Obviously all the windows and stuff work full range um, without the awning being, the clothesline being across. Uh, and it's great. So it took us a while to find out about that. So found this great in, uh, in high winds or when that sun's just in a bad spot and you only set up for the night. You can get it out, get a bit of shade on your awning side. And even if it's raining too, you get that bit of protection from the rain on this side opening and closing the door, which we would have used in Adelaide uh, when we were there at the start of the year and it was raining. So hopefully you like this one guys. And if you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and we'll keep this sort of stuff coming.